I want to talk to y'all real quick because lately a lot of people been calling me, texting me. They just going through it, about to lose their mind, telling me they ready to give up. They want to commit suicide, that they just don't know what to do. And I'm going to tell you what I tell them. I ask them, what have you eaten? Have you eaten your soul food? Because if you do not eat your soul food every morning, you not going to make it. Every morning, I eat my soul food. I eat my soul food a couple times a day because there's so much going on right now. You don't know what to do with it. And let me tell you, if you don't eat your soul food, you're not going to make it. It is too much going on. It is too much craziness going on. And if you are going to make it, you have to eat your soul food. And you say, soul food? What is soul food? Soul food is the Word of God. It is food for your soul. It is listening to the Bible. It is listening to some type of Word of God every single day. I do not leave the house without listening to some type of the word because I know mm, it's too much going on. It's too much uncertainty. It's too much hating going on. It's too much evil. And I don't know what to do with it. And you don't know what to do with it. And don't nobody know what to do with it. So... I have me some soul food every day. Once I get that soul food in my body, it gives me strength to continue to fight. It gives me strength to know that God is working it out on my behalf. And if you're going to make it, you've got to eat your soul food. It's not hard. It's really simple. We make it hard because we don't want to listen. We don't want to follow directions. We think we so smart that we have it figured out. And you don't. You don't know what to do with it. Because if you did know what to do, your life would be better. Most of our lives is in a mess. It's in a hot mess. And the reason it's in a hot mess is our choices. It's our decisions. It's our unwillingness to listen and follow to God. That's the problem. We don't want to listen to nobody, including God. And then you wonder why your life falling apart. You wonder why you keep going around the same mountain over and over. Because you don't learn. You don't listen. And you keep doing the same things over and over. If you're going to get something better in this life, you have to do something better. And it starts off by starting your day off with some type of word from the Lord. Your soul food. You can't make it out here. You're hungry. You're weak. You're tired. And it's all because you ain't eating that soul food. That soul food will give you the strength to continue to fight. That soul food will give you the strength that whatever comes your way, you will be covered. And I'm just telling y'all, you've got to have that soul food. Good morning. Good morning. That is how I keep a smile on my face. That's how I keep my emotions up or how I not my emotions up that's how I keep my expectation up it is trusting in the Lord it's spending time in the Lord it's not hard it's not hard at all I listen sometimes to Joyce I listen to Joe Osteen I even listen to no one other than Charlene Sparks. Yep, I listen to myself. I encourage myself because what better way to encourage yourself than with you? I sometimes I told you all about the commuter Bible on YouTube. I listen to that. 
I don't care what you do, but you better get some soul food in you or you're not going to make it. This ain't times to be playing. This ain't time to just give up. You better dig your heels in. You better fight. You better fight like a Christian and get in that word. Get on your knees. Pray. Be grateful. Be thankful. Yeah, you might not be where you want to be, but be grateful for where you at. Because it could be better, but it could be a hell of a lot worse. So you better thank the Lord for where you at. Spend time with the Lord. Get to praying. And sometimes you need to let people and things in this world that's holding you back, let them go. Let them go. Me moving to California, I let a lot of people and a lot of things that was holding me back, I let them go. And my life is better. Yeah, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm grateful and thankful for where I'm at. So I got to go, y'all. Almost back home. But I hope this bless you. You're not going to make it if you don't eat that soul food every day. You need food for your soul if you are going to make it in this wicked world. Stop blaming everybody else for your life and you stand up and take control of your life. You're smart, you're talented, and everything you need is already inside of you. So get up, eat that soul food. I had my soul food this morning. Now I'm about to go to work. I'm gonna have a blessed day. I'm gonna walk in faith and I'm going to just expect that God is going to open up the doors in my favor. And that's what you have to do. So, all right, y'all. I love y'all. God loves you. Remember, do your best. Pray about the rest. And watch God work it out. In whose name? In Jesus' name. In whose name? In Jesus' name. That's right, y'all. In Jesus' name. Go have y'all some soul food like I did. Love ya. Mwah. It's going to be all right. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It's going to be all right. Oop.